What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back we are back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. And in this episode we're gonna hold back um the Swedish hordes from Yogava. We're actually gonna draw in this army, which is actually on reflection, pretty depleted in pretty lots of key areas. They've been bolstered by a core of more elite infantry, but I don't think it will help them out because we've had time to replenish and we've also got some pretty kick-ass howitzers. So let's fight them and water the walls of our territory, well, water the, the fields of our territories with Swedish blood. And uh, they're going to be mighty surprised when our force swings in from Central Asia and starts to attack the rear of their position. Because we still need to burst through the Middle East. Um, the, 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 uh, the Ottomans have done quite a good job at, at uh, blocking our progress. But eventually they will run out of troops, and I should really push through, push up more through North Africa. So we do have a breach, because I can hear it crackling away. So infantry on the traditional position on the walls. down. Um, let's just put some light infantry here. Assuming that some of them will try and go for the war, go for the breach. That's probably a smart call. Let's also put in some anti-cavalry defences. So if you do it like this, I've, found, I've tried it before, it doesn't work. You need to do it like a certain distance away. And you need to do it like... Smart. So if you do that, then you can do one like this. So any that make it around here, run straight into that one. So you have to kind of stagger it like that. Not that that's a particularly big brain breakthrough and I'm not, you know, really big head, but... Yeah, that's, that's how I do it. And you guys get up there. He's got a good amount of cavalry. We've got guns that we could use, but I don't know how likely it is that we will. I mean, I might position a couple of units ready for the defensive action against the against the breach, and then keep one unit as a mobile reserve. Howitzers just hunker down. And fire. So yeah, lots of the troops are actually coming in from this other, from other fronts. Actually, you might go right. You guys are going to hold this this line here. These men might join this unit in holding this gap because most of the enemy are going to come in near where the breach is right there we go immediately these two units have been destroyed you guys might nope they're going in i can hear the charge you guys are going to get shot by these guys as you push around the walls so these chasseurs are pied let's get them on this gatehouse to make sure we don't get caught out um, but the depleted army with cavalry is this one. And we do have artillery. Actually, you guys, who are you firing at? Yeah, just blast this area with canister shot. No specific strategy. Sometimes it's smart to hold fire when there's a particularly tasty unit coming in to make sure you reload, but. For the most part, it's not a bother. You guys run. I mean, the sooner I annihilate this army, the sooner I can redeploy some of these forces to face somewhere else. Or this could be where the bad guys come in from. So they're attacking this point of the fort, which isn't a problem because they will... that will just cause the, this section to be damaged, it won't actually collapse and provide a new way in. Which 
just too far away for your howitzers, eh? Okay, sweet. So then you guys don't need to guard that section of the wall either, so you guys can come down here. You guys don't need to guard this section of the wall. Our entire defensive position then shifts. Although, you're still there. Trouble is, you guys are a bit close to the breach. Oh, what? No, get back up there. I didn't expect them to run. I wanted them to run. Okay, I need to get them down off the wall here then. These, look at this poor cavalry. A whole lot will die if they charged in. But, smartly. Oh, there's one Lancer left. One guy left to tell the tale. It's miserable in there, don't do it. So I don't quite know what the cavalry hopes to achieve. Let's just get you guys over onto that section of the wall there. So they have presented themselves in a delicious position to just get shot to bits. Because no gates are open. They don't have any spies in here. Not that I would ever really recommend attacking through just having spies unless you really, really, really outnumber the enemy. You guys might actually switch to round shot and focus on their artillery in the back. Because it looks like, well, so you're lifeguards and you've got a six pounder, which if you're not careful, you'll bring within artillery range. Because they're focusing on, yeah, they're also focusing on that, se that section of the wall. Hopefully you guys do come close enough that one well-aimed cannonball can just go BOOM! And take them out. I mean, they're, under, they're enga being engaged by musketry. They will withstand a certain amount and then the team will just collapse. But we have an infantry unit that made it through the breach. Fourth regiment. Yeah, there they go. Poor souls. to knock him out. I mean, these guys, they're just going to get shot to ribbons by these guys for sure. As they slowly trundle around. We've got an absolute hero with this gun who's just going to fire. I don't think we have anyone attacking the breach yet, so you, who are currently also attacking the breach with Quick Climb, you guys can also focus on this. Both of our howitzers focus on... Okay, you guys need to, need to try hit them. You guys can't hit. Okay, you guys can just fire at will with Quick Climb. Yeah, there goes the gun team. It just collapses in one go. They're bugged at bugging out because of this guy. But they're not really... They aren't really needed unless these superior line infantry decide to be... I might just keep them on quick climb and fire at will and let the regiment that's closer actually attack the artillery. Sweet, you actually hit the gun, took the gun out behind them with a miss. So the 8th Lightfoot look like they're going to push in. To be honest, it looks like they are going to sit back and just uh, try and soften up the fort first. So let's speed up time, because right now all we're doing is trying to get our infantry into position. And our howitzers are, uh, well, you, with your quick climb, are focusing on these Western European mercenaries and annihilating them, my god. 
you have knocked out the gun team behind the one you were trying to kill. I mean, it looks like they are trying to cluster this army together. Ooh, ooh, okay. Chasseur Pierre, fall back. Oh, yes. Provincial Cavalry. Come at me. So there's no way that that cavalry can do anything useful, and they're all dead. There's no way they can run straight at the enemy. They'd have to run in, manoeuvre, and get through this gap, which, under constant fire, isn't going to happen. Look at the blunderbuss shotgunners. Units that need to get within close range. Look at that fine, lovely rank of men that have all been quick to death. I mean, they're going to lose lots of men from secondary hits. It looks like they're actually trying to kill this infantry. Which is actually good, because it means any misses hit the gatehouse, which is indestructible. So, feel free to miss, my fellows. Might even have to move this gun team to move a bit closer so that they can get some good shots off. They could make another breach here, which if they do, that's fine, because it's still the same cauldron. Here come the blunderbuss shotgunners. Don't worry, this chap's got a bugle. Can't kill this guy. Oh, the canister shot comes in. No, ooh, oh, he's, that's the bugle guy. Oh, here comes some cavalry. So you say the odd guy might leak around the flank, but... Ah, oh, it's... It's so beautiful. Oh, and they're going to die as they come back as well. So this guy's going to run into the back of the defence and go... Yeah. Beautiful. See, my chasseur Pied took the mount of the fire step on the inside, so they're actually also firing into the, the cauldron, which is perfect. So this team limber up because there's no, absolutely zero point in them sat, sitting there firing quicklime when I can just trundle them up here, fire a round shot into this absolute nest of guys. Although it looks like, are they going to suddenly try and... I wonder if they're going to actually try and assault. Oh well, it seems like they are waiting for my gun, my... My uh, artillery to change position, but I'm not. I'm not afraid. So who's this? A unit of dismounted dragoons. That's going to go well. Well, they're charging the other way, which is smart by the dragoons. Let's bring you guys across. Could charge my cavalry out, but there's no need. Focus on trying to knock out some of these chaps. A near miss will do. Who are you trying to attack? Yeah, so this so that's what I try and avoid. Them having getting men up on the wall. See, they didn't fire by right. They didn't fire uh, fire at will in the right way. You guys also focus on the howitzers. Charge these guys over the bridge because they're only guerrilla mercenaries. Oh, because the bulk of the force is actually back here. As long as we keep some guys over the gatehouse, we'll be fine. Let's actually take 136 over here as well to provide a bit of extra backup. Although I think it's a bit overkill. So you men attack the skirmishers. Did 
this line infantry is not going to come in. General's bodyguard? <gasps> the general himself alone! And he's hit the spikes. <laughs> there he goes. He could barely, barely make out his horse. He shuts it up here very poorly. Knock out that guerrilla unit first. There we go, you guys attack the 99th Regiment of Foot. Swedish Line Infantry is a bit better in melee combat than most units. Come on, you men should fire. Once you've got your stuff together. You men take position on the wall and engage your gunnery. Line infantry is coming back. We shut up here, chase them off. The odd one here is getting shot down by my skirmishes, and that's enough. There we go, these men are manning the fire step. And they're going to fire at the guerrilla mercenaries. Oh, point blank gunshot. Fire! Good stuff. Where? No. Bad, Sweden. Bad. So you guys charge the superior line infantry unit on the on the wall there. You guys charge that unit of line to bring this regiment over to also attack the superior line. There's only 50 of them. Charging in. Including some cavalry. What kind? Hussars! You poor devils. These spiky things have a few things to say to you. You is dead. So, God. Is that gun team? They've still got one gun. Focus fire them. There we go. Superior line infantry's gone. You guys take your position back on the wall there. You guys go over here. Line infantry, line infantry in the centre have broken. I will deploy my, inf my cavalry to sweep up if needs be. There we go. They've been routed, so focus fire the Dragoons with my artillery fire. More shells come in. Near misses are pretty effective. Let's see if I can man the, man the right section of the wall to fire your guns. The 84th Regiment of Superior Line, that was previously in top condition, now been reduced to 71 men. There we go. Oh, they form square. Yeah, you can fire a handful of muskets in every direction, but not enough in any one particular way. Canisters come in. Oh, it's killed a guy as he's trying to climb over the over the over the defenses. So they've been routed. Everyone's been routed. Okay, right. Cavalry. Deploy. Okay, right. If that's going to happen, halt fire my gunners. Sars to chase down the dragoons. You guys chase down the line infantry. You guys get over here. Provincial cav and the gunners. Hoorah. Focus on the line infantry just before they route. 
And then you guys come and knock out the gunners. Yes. God, that was quite a nice, uh, quite a nice attack, really. Yeah, was 300 men, they lost 2,000. Well, nearly 400 men, they lost over 2,000. And back they go. Try again next time. Wop wop. I mean, my sloop's not going to last. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Well, there we go, that's a, that's a Swedish force repulsed. As long as we keep troops bottled up, trying to... Uh, ooh, no, don't attack. No. I'm more than happy for them to run around us, because we have more troops coming up behind. And any extra respite we get is time we get to... I don't, definitely don't want to attack now, because they're right behind us. But any time we get... Any, take any opportunity we get now to get some, try and get some replenishment on these armies. Do not want to attack them. Like I said, because I've got armies coming up behind. Oh, they've damaged one of my buildings. Okay. You can hit Flans Merck. Forward, march. And then now you can march on to Strasbourg. You attack this last bastion of Austrian troops here and you guys hold position on the border Cartagena, Granada, Cordoba machined rifling okay there's a riot in Spain as well I mean I don't really need to build anything more there upgrade the pleasure gardens because why not upgrade to this Fleet destroyed again. A fleet's a very that's a very grandiose term for a sloop, but there we are. Let's build a light galley to occupy our port. More mines. Yes. You guys go up and knock out the raiding Huzzah! Swedes. Huzzah! Obviously, they survived. Your humble servant. Ready but we, we we're being reinforced with more troops. Including militia, which you don't necessarily want. Ready and waiting for. So this remaining... You guys get down to the dockyard. You can leave Finland now. Can indeed. Let's build better roads. Fortify it, because why not? How many turns did it take to build? Four turns to build that dockyard, so let's upgrade our port. You guys get up to the fort to hold it. And let's also upgrade you to a church school. Upgrade the mine, upgrade the trapper post. Because we can use Finland to be a quite a good staging post for getting Catholic missionaries into Northern Europe. Obviously things are going, lots of raids and stuff are happening in Spain. But we don't mind because now Spain's happy. So you men, I hope if you are replenished. Your Majesty. You guys need to do a bit more replenishing. You're waiting for two units, a marine unit, and is it this gun team? It is this gun team. Upgrade user a global, tr global trading company. So let's put three guns aside for this army when, they, when it arrives. You... Can recruit some guns but let's get some sharp shooters and two rally oh yes skirmishes start mass recruiting those and sending them up to you okay let's get you Ooh, can i get i can't i can't recruit them here because i haven't got an army board but you are going to get some skirmishes me old mucker which might mean you don't need as much infantry Let's build extra. Let's just keep building like normal, and then once we once we know what we've got, we can start to change it. And let's repair these buildings in here. Uh, let's pick up a militia unit in Flanders to occupy Antwerp. 
So you're in you're in good nick. You can push and take Cologne from this direction, which is preferable. You're also in a good position to drive south and hit this full Austrian force here. Which means we can then swing south, engage some wandering Bavarian stacks before pushing Munich and opening a northern Italian front. Which is pretty good. Let's check our... Uh... They hide behind women's skirts. Okay, yeah, you've got, some, ref yes, you've got some replenishment done. You've not got very much done at all. But I said they can't cause too much mischief behind the lines because we do have men marching up. Ooh, you're not too far from actually being able to do some good stuff. Three more turns. So then down here Sir. just march everyone together. They're not okay, they're not gonna Sir. group. So you've got the cavalry contingent, your Gurkhas, let's take the artillery. Ready and waiting orders. Sir. Your orders. So you're pretty yes, pretty Lord. much okay. You Your Majesty. can take Rose. some Gurkhas. Make ready. Forward. You can the join uh, you join him. Forward. Four units of guns is a bit heavy. Two infantry, two gut, two howitzers, probably two units of more elite infantry, but I can't get them here, so let's get some Indian mercenaries. And you're done, although actually, yeah, I'm a dummy. Okay, right. Sir. You men combine. You men combine. Forward. Okay, that's quite infantry heavy, so let's take a unit of infantry. Okay, Remy Busset, your army is done. Make ready. Your humble servant. Georges de Seconda, your army is not quite as done. Lord? Yes, sir. You've got cavalry. Well, you can definitely Majesty. take sir. this guy's unit of guard to call. Forward, sir. Ready units Waiting. combine. At the ready. So you need. I might actually Lord? take a unit of. 12 pounders from here, send an infantry unit to make up the difference. So now you're pretty good. You need four infantry, and that will be these guys. Take some time to replenish to top up your numbers. But then that's two armies done when they're replenished. Sweet. Iron workshop upgrades. Mm, damaged mine. I don't think there's too much stuff that we need to upgrade in this region. I'm pretty sure our we've done a pretty good job at not at building all the roads we need to build. I think we've done okay. We can start to try and optimize the our use of priests for, for a while. Aha, uh -huh, Roland Fosse. So, where is the best place to put you? Probably land you in on the north Spanish coast. We can't sail directly to Porto and land, but I can deploy my army here. Let's get a couple more heavy first rates just to add a bit more firepower because there's a chance we might want to knock out this fleet before they flee. Keolion is on rifled cannons. Cambridge is freeing the slaves. Hartford is doing top gallants. Fort Frontenac is carrying on with shrapnel shot. Cool. In artillery in Spain, not Spain, New Spain, fourth rates in the Baltic, just a whole mess of recruitment. Kits upgrade, steam power cloth mill. Okay, so these fourth rates are here. 
Well, that's the fifth rate. The fourth rates are somewhere else. They're from Lubeck. They are. Okay, you guys combine forces with the ships here at Visby. Okay, if yeah, that's more than enough to. All than enough ships to commit to block Memel. Again, that impacts their trade. You are on your way up here as well, so you might lose your some of your militia. Okay, let's go take this force under Louis Thomas Nipis, Nipis, and you're going to assault the city of Cologne. And we have an entire army in reserve, but. Looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for another death knell. If that's even the right word, I don't even know. Um, for the Austrians as we attack Cologne. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed.